Okay. Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. The 15th? Might be the 16th. I don't know. But about three weeks ago, I saw Rare Beauty Envy do the part-time YouTuber tag. And it was created by Monica. I don't know who Monica is. I'm going to have to Google or type it in and see if I can find her. But early and when I want to copy somebody's work, I uh, screenshot it. And then I go back and then I'm, I do the tag. Um, I saw somebody this week do the tag. And I'm like, oh yeah. But about three weeks ago, I had my kidney problem again. And I forgot about this. And then I saw somebody else do it this week. And I'm so sorry I forget who it was. Because they even said, you should do it. And I was like, I think I will. So I'm doing it now. And I'm, please forgive me. I just got off work. And I'm going to go into this. Okay. First question. What is your main gig? Do you work? full-time are you a student spill the beans I work full-time I work at an international school of medicine in Missouri and uh, uh, up until six months ago Wednesday I I didn't work for them I worked there. I worked for a contract company and then I got hired on. So I'm very happy. I feel like there's somebody behind me. It's weird. Okay, so yes, I have a full time job and I love it. Um, number two, what made you want to start YouTube? For about five years, I've been watching YouTube videos. I actually signed up, made a channel, so I could comment on everybody else's videos. And, I don't know, about a year ago, I started making videos. And within a month, I, and I, I was watching all the big YouTubers. And... I would comment on all theirs. I didn't even really realize there were small YouTubers. And that's why I wanted to do it. I don't know. And it gives me more confidence. When, before I became a hair, before I had my stroke, I had a lot of confidence. I would go out. I did stand up amateur night at a comedy bar. I did karaoke. Um, I just lived and then I had my stroke and suddenly I'm not doing anything anymore except for watching videos at work. Don't tell my boss. Um, so I felt like it would give me more confidence. And I think it has, thank you. I'm back to being my funny self. Number three, what is your channel about? Do you stick to one niche or do you cover a few? I do what I want. If I see a box I like, I buy it and I bone and box it. Um, I love watching empty videos, so I do those. I love watching panty videos, so I do those. I love watching hauls, so I do those. Whatever I want to do, I do. I love tag videos. I do a tag. Um, did you always know YouTube would be a side gig? Or did you ever want to be a full-time YouTuber? The only time I'm going to be a full-time YouTuber if I retire and then do it as my full-time job. And I Am I ever going to get paid? No, I don't see that happening. So, yeah, it's going to be a side time, a side deal for pretty much ever. 
What is your schedule? What is your schedule like? Uh, when do you film? When do you edit? Number one, I don't edit. It's apparent. When do I film? Before work or after? Or on the weekends? I do that. Um, in the middle of the night. Like right now. I think it's like 1230. So, yeah. That's my answer. How do you keep your YouTube channel organized? <laughs> do you plan videos ahead or just film when you feel like it? I film when I feel like it and my channel is not organized. <laughs> it's like, have you watched it? Um... Number seven, how do you feel about sponsored videos on YouTube? Have you, would you ever do one on your channel? As long as the person who is being paid to do the video is doing an honest review, more power to them. And if anyone ever <laughs> wants me to do a review, paid, yeah, I'll do it, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't like it when YouTubers don't disclose that they're getting paid. And in my opinion, if you're getting a free box, you're getting paid. You're getting paid whatever that box is worth. So you need to tell people it was a free box. Uh, number eight, what do you think is the biggest challenge doing YouTube part-time? Um, doing it, finding the time, I think. That's the biggest challenge, finding something to do. Like I'm giving up on uh, subscription boxes pretty much. I'm going to keep Fat Fit Fun because I share that with my sister. And right now I'm keeping Allure. I'm getting rid of Test Tube. Um, I got rid of Ipsy. Um, I still have Snack Nation. I think I'm going to keep it because it's only like $5 for shipping. Um, I'm not sure about Love With Food. I think I might get rid of that. Um, I enjoy those boxes. I enjoy all of them. But, eh, I gotta move on. So, I'm doing a low buy in 221. Wait. In 220. Now they're here. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I think finding content to do is the biggest challenge. Um, I think that's all of them. There were only like eight questions, I think. So, yeah. That's it. That's what I'm doing. Um, if you want to do this, do this channel. Or, or If you want to do this tag, do it. I love hearing your answers. I'm nosy as heck. Everybody knows it. Um, but who, a couple of people who I would really like to see do this is uh, Lainey Bradbury and uh, who else? Reviews with Sue. Reviews with Stephanie. Yeah, I want to hear you guys do it. I think Stephanie might have been the one. It was either her or Melissa's world. I don't know. But yeah, okay, Those. that's it. You guys, have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow if I think of something to, you know, put on my channel. But until then, bye.